What's going on, you guys? Kid behind the camera here. Where's your last year? Right there. And number one, you're never gonna see Charlie in any of our videos again. If that's something that you don't like, you should probably unsubscribe because I don't wanna, he's not in my life ever again after tonight. And I'm gonna let you guys know what happened. I'm gonna tell you the whole story. It starts when the first time he got thrown out of dad's house, which I, you guys were all witness to that, right? Charlie got kicked out of dad's house and I didn't wanna have to tell this, but screw it, now it's coming out. He got kicked out of dad's house because he was giving drugs and alcohol to a nine year old boy. Maybe eight. I don't know how I don't know how old Jacob is. He was giving drugs and alcohol to an eight, nine-year-old boy and threatening him if he didn't take it. And we came over, we smelled it on his breath. Charlie had to go. Guys, this was that. Yeah, you think I didn't film it, bud? This was Charlie getting thrown out of dad's house. And then when Jacob I know I know you can tell. I just want to finish. I know you can tell, man. Jacob was acting funny. That's what I saw. I was like, okay, what the fuck Jacob back like this for? So I had Jacob come out here, and I asked Jacob, I said, what did Charlie give you in the room? And he said, juice that tasted like alcohol and a little weed. You know, why would I give him that? He took why it. would he just straight tell us? He took it. He took it, dude. I'm not gonna... Like, you know, he came in, he's like, I know. He came in, he said that he knew. I was like, how the hell do you know? You know? Because they took it. I don't know what that means. It means that they went into my fucking room and grabbed a freaking beer and drank the motherfucker. And it is my bad. Because I brought it in, I brought it into the house. And if he doesn't want me here, then fine, I'll go, dude. But I, I can't go through this witch hunt. It's not a witch. It's not a witch. A witch hunt is challenging people that aren't witches. It's not a witch hunt if you're doing it. Well, dude, I'm working my ass off, dude. Like, like, what's wrong with this yard? What's wrong with the yard? Look. Yeah, but he did it. No, I did. Dad and Laura, I did this. Why would you do that wood? Like, that little bit of wood. That was a bunch of fucking wood. How did you? I did that in ten minutes. Now, Dad. Now, Dad. Dad. Is Charlie sitting on his fucking ass all day, or is he helping? He says he's gonna do about that. Twenty minutes worth of doing grass cutting. That's about it. Tell the truth. Yeah. I did. I got no reason to lie. Why would I give the kid? It's okay, give the boy fucking. I didn't give him a goddamn thing. Why would you lie, Charlie? It's right here. Yeah, in front of all of us. Yes. Why? That's a good question. Why? Why? You know you gotta go back to Bobby's. It's fine. I can't have that here. Well, you can take your, you can take your, uh, your perks and stuff. That's fine. I did. Yeah. You do. You know that good shit you're going tonight. Against my better judgment, I let you guys dictate what I did and I let him stay in the pool house. And what a horrible decision because ever since then, he's been drinking every night. He's been starting crap every night. You guys can just go to his Facebook and see he's threatening to kill people. Oh, I'm going on a road trip and I'm gonna stab this person. I'm gonna kill this person. I'm gonna knock their teeth out of their mouth. He became unhinged and it was really bad, you guys. Against my better judgment, I let him stay here. And I really shouldn't have done that. I'm just going to fast forward this story, you guys, to today. Aside from him drinking every night and starting trouble every night, today we get to the house and he's running around the yard naked. And I go to see if he's okay and he gets in my face and starts screaming and I took off into the house. My sister called 911 and they came out and they went to check on him and he admitted to them that he was doing LSD. And apparently it looked like he was trying to burn his finger off or something or burn the pool house down or I really don't know what he was doing, but it was bad. This is some of the clips that I took when the police came earlier to get Charlie. I don't want to fucking leave. Sorry, calm down. I've done nothing. I'm, no. Wait, shout. Mike, was this your house? Is no. this your property? No, They're gonna no. tase you if you act no. like this. What have I done? I don't. You destroyed the pool house. You started. You got in my face and started screaming at me when I tried to bring you something to eat. We did that. This is. Not, I'm not talking about no fake videos. I'm talking about an hour ago when I tried to bring you something to eat and you tried to launch at me. All right, let's go. Calm, calm down. Look, I'm, uh, you know what? I, I, I respect my brother. Okay. I'm not trying. I'm not trying. To, Michael, I'm scared. To, no, I'm scared to death of you right now, Michael, bro. Michael, come and give me a hug, man. Let's please don't do that. Yeah, I'm, I'm going with the police. All we need you to do is get on the ground, man. That's it. They're not trying to take you to the police. They're taking you to the I'm hospital. To Your hands you fucked up. I do, it's, it's one finger. Oh my god. It's one finger. No, no. If they don't, if they don't See what you did, dude. If I don't get on that girl, they're going to jail. What I did? Did I drop acid? I didn't do anything. Okay. Did I? You're the one that fucking put all my shit out on the fucking internet. How? When? You're the one that put my shit. Your fucking father raped the goddamn fucking cousin. You are I'm a drug addict. Gonna, do it. Do it. Can I press charges out. for phrasing that pool house, hey, please? Guys, stop. I'm gonna put it all out. 
Go ahead. Yo, he invited me. Go ahead. I did. I invited him because I thought he wasn't a drug addict. Can I press charges for destroying my pool house? It, it, there's no sense in there's, there, there's no sense in arguing with him. Okay, he's right, not he's not a right no sir. But unfortunately, he destroyed my property. Uh, About two hours later, uh, Bridget and her dad are in the pool house cleaning it uh, because he freaking destroyed it. As if any of it belongs to him. As if he had to work for anything that he's got. He had to work for a thing that he has. I handed him every damn bit of it. You're welcome, you alcoholic drug addict. I handed him everything. So he comes back two hours later to the pool house that belongs to me that he wrecked. And I hear screaming. I'm editing a video and I hear screaming. So I come walking out and that's when I see him hit Bridget. And that is when I snap, guys. I came rushing up. I had the camera. I was going to film this. I came rushing up, and I was going to beat the hell out of him. Straight up. I was going to beat the hell out of him. And I notice he has this shard of glass, which means he's going to try to stab us. He's clearly still high and clearly doesn't know what he's doing. Maybe we should just get the hell in the house. So I tell Bridget, let's call 911. He punched you in the face. Let's get out of here. As we're leaving... He starts screaming into Bridget's phone as if we're recording and starts screaming, oh, Angry Grandpa's a molester, Bridget's a lesbian, we have sex with our animals, and he, we go in, we're going into the house to call 911, and Bridget turns on the camera because he's following us, like he's going to attack us, says, oh, I'll punch your fat ass again. So she starts recording, and this is a piece of that. I'm getting the fuck Get out, that bitch! Get the fuck out, then, you stupid stink cunt! Oh, oh, so like, bad. Oh, no, I'm like fucking Bella. fat. Oh, you're just oh. like Bella, you fat And you're whore. fucking homeless. That's why you look You're boy. stupid That's and why. fucking homeless. That's why. You stupid alcoholic. Hey, didn't you fuck your cousin? So we call 911. They come out. First thing he tries to do is tell 911 that I destroyed the pool house, even though they were here earlier watching him destroy the pool house. He's telling people that I destroyed his phone. He told people that Bridget had sex with her cousin. Yeah, okay. He's fooled a lot of people, including us. He tries to tell people, oh, that's the old me. Well, you guys can see now that he hasn't changed a damn bit. He's the same alcoholic, same drug addict, same child abuser, same asshole. So that's Charlie Chill. That's what happened today. He's arrested. We are pressing charges. Whatever charges we can press, we're pressing it. Because I'm done with him. It's stuff like that why he's going to die alone, folks. And I hate to say that. He's my brother. No, he's not. You guys don't even know half of the history. You guys don't know half the story. He is, he's totally burned the bridge. I didn't talk with him for four years one time because he was saying the same stuff on Facebook. He was calling Dad a child molester on Facebook four years ago. So you know what, dude? Run your mouth. I don't care. I honest to God don't care if running your mouth loses us every subscriber because as long as I don't have to deal with you anymore, that's fine. I've had my, I've had my fill with Charlie Green being in my life. It's over, dude. Our relationship is absolutely over. If I die of a heart attack, I don't want you coming to my funeral. And I mean that wholeheartedly. I don't want you coming. I don't want you there.